out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Regis Progress wins his first world title on the zone tonight at part of the World Box Super Series Tournament. Dropped uh, Kareel Relic and stopped him in six rounds. So let's talk about it. We back. It's your boy CJ Goodfella, Goodfella Sports TV. Make sure you guys do me that favor. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Let's get it in one time for the one time. And uh, this fight started off with uh, Regis Progress being put on the back foot. Um, Relic trying to push, push the action, push the pace. Regis always get to fight at his type of pace, kind of like watching James Harden just play at his pace. He ain't the fastest, he ain't the slowest, but he pays that plays at Harden pace, and that's what Regis Progress does. He fights at his own pace. Really tried to pressure him, um, pretty much. Um, he was slipping, dipping, head movement was too much. He was too slick for Really, and Really probably got that Eastern European stiff style, but he a tough customer, and he dropped Really with a counter left hook to the liver. I think it was, you know, yeah, it was a counter left hook to the liver. I believe it was. Really had a late reaction, stumbled into one of the ropes. Progress followed him up, dropped him with a, well, I think it was a right hand over the top. And, um, you know, that was the only time Relic actually hit the canvas. It went on with Regis battering, battering, battering him up. And pretty much it wasn't like Regis was putting three, four, five, six together. He was picking his shots. And uh, ever since he got stopped, dropped to the liver, Relic was pretty much had his, his arms glued to his side. You know, Regis go upstairs and then Relic pull his push it, put his hands upstairs. Regis, Regis go downstairs. Regis is Regis is a very cerebral, smart fighter, man. Real, real um, educated inside the ring, and he picks his spots and he's gonna dissect you whatever weakness you do have. So for him, um, you know, Relic just didn't come behind the jab. He did offer Regis toughest test. It might sound stupid the way I'm des- de- describing the fight, but he did hit Regis. He countered him with some right hands. He started punching with him, but it was apparent from the very beginning that Regis was punching too hard for him. And Regis is a special puncher because nobody's ever done that career relic. He got two losses on his resume. One was to uh, Rancis Bartholomew, who I'm about to watch fight Robertson Jr. right now. Be on the lookout. I have that uh, thoughts as well after the fight. Um, he punished him in the first fight, got robbed in D.C., and then easily won the second fight, as he did the first, some people's opinion. And relic is tough. But, you know, he has some talks about him not cutting, the, him having a hard time cutting the weight. And progress went right to the body in the first round. And pretty much, you know, Relic was walking him down or trying to walk him down but didn't come behind the jab. You can't be a good pressure fighter unless you come behind the jab. Relic failed. He left his jab in the, in the, in the dressing room or he left his jab in the gym. He should have been doubling, singling up, at least doubling, tripling up. Progress had nothing to worry about. Progress, every time he threw, was with a lead right hand or a lead left hook or something of that nature. And Regis timed it. You know, Relic was too stiff, too slow. Regis was slick, you know, slick as oil. He was just making them miss, countering. And it wasn't like he just proved, he just bulldozed them and just came out there and power dropped his head into the into the mat. No, he took his time. He picked them apart. Like, legitimately, he picked them apart and just head, you know, head, body, head, body, and kept them thinking. You know what I'm saying? Was fading them. Baiting him, and, you know, Relic should have used his jab some more to get some Regis to think about. But he was walking down. He just basically like a moving punching bag today, you know. And Regis just was too fast, too slick. Um, he was able to walk him into a couple shots. And, you know, pretty much he busted his nose open right around in the middle, third, fourth round or something like that. Early on the fight, might have been second round, he busted his nose open with a punch. And uh, he was bleeding, and his ref... Right before the six, right, right, uh, in between the rounds, the fifth and sixth, we can the uh the co- the corner cam caught his uh his corner miss saying I don't want to see you take that punishment like that, and Regis was just picking him apart and to the naked eye, it, it wasn't that bad, you know. To the naked eye, it wasn't that bad, you know. It was it was uh, you know, it was like okay, he's taking a beating, but it ain't that bad. But his corner saw. Relic energy level started to drop. He had pro- he had problems cutting weight. Regis was going to the body. He wasn't hurting Regis back, and Regis was punching him at will. And it ain't like Regis really stepped on the gas. And that's, that that might be one of my concerns going forward in this tournament. If it's Baroshnik, especially if it's Baroshnik or if it's Taylor, that Regis don't have a to hit that second or third or fourth gear. 
And maybe, maybe he don't feel like he has to. As long as you can fight at your pace and everything is slowed down, you got his speed and that punch accuracy and power that he got. Maybe you don't, but if somebody's speed reaches up a little bit, you know, could be a problem, but you could walk into a punch because the homie could really, really punch. So, um, you know, Relic left his jab in the gym, um, didn't have didn't just, you know, didn't have a jab and pretty much didn't have an athletic ability or style to keep up with him. So salute to Regis Progress. Happy that New Orleans has another world champion in Houston. He went to Houston after 2005 Hurricane Katrina. So shout out to Regis Progress, man. We're going to talk a lot about him. Three weeks is uh the winner of Josh Taylor Barosnik over there in Glasgow will fight Regis Pro the winner of that will fight Regis Progress for the World Box Super Series title and two world championship belts. So don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request, or you just want to chop it up. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hell Blaze, at the Hellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off the 100 percent all natural products with lotion, soaps, foot soaks, and much, much more. Website, promo code description. Continue to share the videos the best way you can donate. Share, 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 and I uh, appreciate the love. We gone.